So I can buy two of these, but I'll just buy one of each. And then I think I'll have... Um, I have $250 left. So I'll buy another one, just in case. So now I should have them in my backpack. Yep, and in my clothes. Okay. Time to fully, finally repair this. That's not it. Oh dear. So it was the Windows key. Okay. Now I'm gonna repair it. Hopefully it only uses one toolkit as it compared to Alter's Life, it uses all of them. <laughs> but it has a bar above, so that is good. Nice and easy. But I'm on a delivery mission at the moment. I have to get to DP9, which is all the way over there on the other side of the map. There we go, Dom. In his driver. Oh dear. What's going on here? <laughs> Keep moving, Dom Buck Road. Keep moving. You two there, Orange Mini. Keep moving. My patient here seems to be mentally unstable. He's got Don't very, the road. very poor um, reviews of what happened. <laughs> That is a lot of government officials. Someone in a Halloween costume. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Oh. I got a feeling I don't know what's up. <laughs> you guys are gonna try and take them all out. Destination. Uh, could you use some crackers? Should drink something soon? Oh dear. Need to go and get some crackers. Oh, 10,500. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that was brilliant. <laughs> that was so fun. Um, all I had to do was drive from point A to point B. And. So now I just need to. Right back over here is a uh, oh, the market clothes. I guess the market will do. And then guess that's the area where you can buy a home, maybe. General store. I think I need to go there. And there's the ATM. Okay, sweet. All the way on the way back. Uh, might drop in for a snack. Not get anything too serious. I'm only closer. Need to do a bit of driving so I don't want to feel sick. Maybe throw up in the vehicle. A lot of bumps on the way here, so. <laughs> Quite the dangerous roads. But I need a pickaxe to mine salt, I'm pretty sure, so. But I might, in the future, buy bolt cutters and go on a voyage and break into houses. But for now, I just need to obtain a bit of income and then I shall do that and hopefully, in return, earn quite a lot of equipment. I guess you can say all together, so money and equipment. Is that the bridge? Yeah, that was the bridge. I had a feeling I missed it. I got a big fear of bridges. You know, <laughs> always go slow at the start, but then you don't want to go too slow because you might get stuck on the bridge. There's a bump here. Oh. A lot of bumps on this road. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Better get on this side. Uh, it's man. Yep. <laughs> I need to buy another toolkit as well, just so I have two. I don't uh, end up being stranded. <laughs> Especially with all this money, it'd be a long walk. Overall, this is an awesome mod. Definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth the wait. Two week wait after everything got accepted, so. It took me around about a month to do everything, so. <laughs> Had a bit of trouble with all the other stuff. There's the ATM there. But 
I guess the longer the trip, the more the paycheck is, I guess, the larger the paycheck. L for L. Long, longer it is, larger it is. <laughs> oh, good trade-off, I like it. So I might need something soon and should drink something soon, but I'm fully energized and slightly injured. Ooh. In the market, okay, so this is where you buy everything. Water bottle. Um, I have got $500, $458 on me, I think. Uh, y is not a numeral. <laughs> Let's buy five of that and lock picks, pickaxes, okay. Bolt cutters, definitely. Right, so they are at 7,500. I think tactical bacon is probably the best. Uh, why not? Oh, oh dear. Um, okay, so I put it in the cell, so I'll put that back to one just in case. I've got two, two, um, one. Just look how pretty this game looks. Hey, so. do you by chance know uh, where the. Uh, <laughs> drop point nineteen delivery person is around here. Drop point nineteen. Because it says it's right on top. Of, like it's supposed to be right here, but I just it's, can't it find it. It should be uh, in this building that I'm looking at right now. It's one yeah, that's here. what I I checked in there a second ago. That's really weird. Um, uh, they could Whoa. be on the docks. Yeah, I checked there too. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really Looks weird. like this is one package that's not getting delivered. Um. Is that someone there? I'm not sure. Salt trader. Boat shop. And within the green zone, so the traders and everything, you can't get killed or robbed. Which is nice. Then they updated that. Um, Recently, buy a truck need twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. I can't find it. Nowhere. Yeah, I think this one's. I guess it's the place where you can't exactly deliver. I guess they're out. They're out of the market. Not on the market anymore. Yeah, I think DP19 is not on the market anymore. I think. I think they're out of business. Must be. Well then. Well, good luck on your next mission. As to you. Oh, what was your name, by the way? Uh, Zach. Zach. Nice to meet you. My name's Robert. Nice to meet you, Robert. Have a good adventure. Yep, you too. Stay safe. I'm not sure how I'm gonna how I eat the food. <laughs> I think it's There we go. Same menu to get up this now, but didn't drink something. I'll just keep these in my inventory. I don't exactly have to have it right now. Consume any of these items. By far one of the longest trips I've taken to DP23. <laughs> Something else that I even mapped. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll get from this. The oh, package 11,000. It's not too bad. I think it was an extra 300 meters than the uh, last one. So I might go and mine some salt. Uh, I gotta buy a pickaxe. I might mine iron. I'm not sure. Either one. I'll need a truck uh, to get the most out of it. Hopefully that will work. And I think it is raining, which I do enjoy the most. It's best weather. <laughs> what I ended up just buying from the market was two water bottles, one pickaxe, and two tattoo bacon. That just took me down to $9,661. And then the rest I can just deposit in the bank. I don't think there's one nearby at this place. 
Little outpost, olive field. I don't think you actually get much for olive. And then there is a corn field and a copper mine there. But I think I'll get more for iron. Which is... Over this side? Yeah, it's over there. Which I will drive back and then just take this route. Because it is a bit shorter. And going all the way. Actually, I could just stop from there. I'm not sure though, but... Let's just see what happens. I need to fill up my Mini Cooper with 8 salt, which is the full capacity. And then I filled my backpack and my pockets with 16 salt, which is the maximum capacity. Uh, well, at least because I have food, water, and a pickaxe, which you need a pickaxe to. You just go Y and then click on the pickaxe and then click Use, and then you get all the sand. That was 16 there. I'm not sure if you saw that or not, but <laughs> I've got 8 inside of a vehicle. So to store it, you just press T, and then I've got 8 sand there. And now I have to go to the salt trade, which is back down south, uh, near the market area. I did not see it at first. I thought uh, I had to go to the glass processing, but it's I need to get glass first, which I'm pretty sure is from salt. Oh, it's a salt dealer actually. I think I'm going to do the salt dealer. I need to get sand. I think sand, no that's iron. That's odd. I'm not sure where it is. Unless it is glass. Which... I just need to find out where the processing is, because then you, then you have to go and sell it? I'm not sure. I think I just go straight there, to the glass. I don't seem to find it anywhere else. There we go, found it. It was hidden under the... Hands Fancy Clothing near the weed processing. So go there. Sand processing. See, I, I thought it was there, but it was salt. Didn't Can't read properly. <laughs> You keep on driving. Hopefully I should make it in one piece and this should at least get me $20,000 at least, minimum. Uh, and then I could probably buy a truck license and then do larger runs. The sand processing costs 14.5k. I'm going to go and get that in my bank account because I think it just reduces the amount of time it takes to process sand and I'll be doing this for a bit. Since it is one of the most profitable ways of making money, I guess. And I should easily make $14,000 back uh, in this run that I have done, hopefully. Um, not sure if I should have bought the processing license first. Oh well. I think it's taken a while because I do have a lot of sand on me as well. So it might be altered by that. If you scroll across, there we go. Don't know why they're like in the in the center. Actually, you can get a lot of licenses. So I need ten thousand four hundred dollars to process without a license. So I haven't processed these yet. I've got a license. Process the sand, and it goes yeah, it goes quicker, and it costs you. So I've been doing this for a while, I'm going to save a lot of money since I did buy the license because it's $10,000 to just process it once or $14,000 to process it as many times as you want. Well, as long as you have the license, as long as you don't die or go to jail, maybe? I'm not sure. I think it just, I think you get them permanently, I'm not sure. Haven't been sent to jail yet, haven't died yet. <laughs> We're going good. So process it in the glass. So that's what I was thinking. So I just need to get the 8. Can I get the 8? Um, I don't think the glass actually weighs anything. Yeah, weight 0. That's pretty good. 